In this lecture, we're going to talk about titrating an asset using a base. Now, if you don't know what titration is, and you don't know what an equivalence point is, then check out the link below. So once again, we're titrating an asset with a base. And here's our titration curve, where the y-axis is pH, and the x-axis is the volume of base added. Now, we've defined the equivalence point to be the point at which all the acid has been neutralized. So every single molecule of acid in our buffer system has been neutralized. Now we can also define something called the half equivalence point. And the half equivalence point is the point at which exactly half of the acid in our buffer system has been neutralized. Now suppose we choose our buffer system to consist of acetic acid. Now acetic acid associates into acetate ion and an H plus ion. Now suppose we begin uh, adding some volume of our base and suppose we choose our base to be ammonia. So we're adding the volume of ammonia into our acetic acid. Now the reaction looks like this. The conjugate acid, acetic acid, dissociates into the conjugate base acetate ion. This base, the ammonia, gains an H becoming ammonia. Now, so let's look at this definition again. The half equivalence point is the point at which exactly half of the acid, exactly half of this guy, has dissociated into this guy, aka has been neutralized. So that means we can define the half equivalence point in another way. The half equivalence point is the point at which the concentration of the conjugate acid equals the concentration of the conjugate base because half of this is now this. So the concentration of this guy equals this guy. Well why is this definition important? Well we'll see why in a second. Let's look at the henderson hasselbach formula or equation. Now if you don't know what this formula is check out the link above. So this equation states that pH is equal to pKa of our acid plus log of this ratio, the concentration of the conjugate base over the concentration of the conjugate acid. And this pH is the pH of our buffer system. So, notice that since this guy equals this guy, this divided by this is 1. So, what's inside here is simply 1. So let's rewrite it. pH is equal to pKa plus log of 1. But what's log of 1? Well, log of 1 is 0. And that means pH equals pKa. Well, that's nice and all, but why is that important? Where is the significance? Well, this means that now we can choose the pH of our buffer system by simply choosing an acid with pKa that's closest to our desired pH. So suppose, for example, I want my buffer system to have a pH of 4.7. Now how I find the acid to use is I simply find the acid with the pKa value closest to 4.7. Now I go online, I find my table, I look up an acid with a pH that's cl or a pKa closest to a pH of 4.7 and I find that's its acetic acid. So now I know using this equation here that if I choose my buffer system to consist of acetic, uh, acetic acid, my pH of my buffer system will be 4.7 and that's important.